According to Screen Rant, there is a valid reason for why Iron Fist and Luke Cage were both canceled by Netflix. And according to their reporting, it was a significant drop in viewership, basically ratings. Now, Netflix does not release its official ratings, but apparently, you know, a Screen Rant reporter talked to this agency named Jump Shot that, that tracks online consumer behavior on millions of devices. And they said there, for both um, Iron Fist and Luke Cage, from their season ones to season twos, there was like a steep, you know, decrease in viewership, declining viewership, like 60%, which is steep. And so that's why Netflix has decided not to move forward with those shows, according to this data. That does make sense. Do we buy that? I don't know, maybe. I mean, we don't know that they're lying. It does seem interesting, though. I know when the news came that both Iron Fist and Luke Cage were being canceled, they trended on Twitter, like, for a long time. So, I don't know. It seems like there were a lot of people still watching and were interested in those shows. I know that I watch both Iron Fist and Luke Cage, and I like them, but I don't know. I'm kind of an easy critic, I think. But, you know, Iron Fist Season 2 was a great improvement over Season 1. So that was surprising for people to hear. It seemed like Iron Fist was on the upswing. And when it came to Luke Cage, I always liked Luke Cage. I thought that Season 2 was better than Season 1. I mean, Season 1 wasn't bad, but it was kind of a bit too slowly paced. And I thought Season 2 was a lot tighter in terms of the way it's plotted. And I thought that there was a lot of drama and emotional depth that a lot of the actors had to work with in Luke Cage Season 2. They didn't get in the first season. Like Luke Cage himself, played by Mike Coulter, he had more like emotional stuff to deal with in season two than he did in season one. Season one, Luke Cage walked around like not really having anything to say and just like getting into fights. But season two, like he got to yell and cry and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he did that in season one and I forgot. But I actually thought season two was better for everybody involved. They had more to do as actors. But you know, it was all for naught, apparently, according to this data, because audiences there weren't enough people in the audience who cared enough to watch these shows in large enough numbers maybe now these are jump shots data someone who tracks online i guess media devices viewership these still are not netflix's own data so we don't know what netflix's internal numbers are but you know maybe we have our reason maybe it was just you know bad ratings if so if so i think that definitely means that we won't see a Luke Cage or Iron Fist season three. I mean, if it was low ratings, that's terrible because people will think, well, these shows weren't good enough to stay on to capture enough of an audience. So why bring them back for a third season? Like on the Marvel streaming service, the Disney streaming service, you know, that's that's launching next year. They'll think, what for? If if this if this is you know accurate, unfortunate if that's the case. I would love to see Iron Fist and Luke Cage season three or a Heroes for Hire show. They have me watching them. But I'm just one person. I'm not enough for them to get those millions and gajillions of views they need if this is if this is true. But what do you think? Do you accept this? Do you accept this reason? Do you think that this data is accurate? And if so, are you happy or sad that you will not see, maybe not see, Luke Cage or Iron Fist come back for a third season? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.